Welcome, 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 ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, welcome. It's your host, the most essential dose. Welcome back to my channel. All right, so today we're going to be doing a tutorial on how to clean out your PS4. This is a regular PS4, not a PS4 Pro. And basically, I'm going to be showing you three different methods that you can use that to clean out your PS4. The first method is the less invasive method where you can just clean the PS4 out externally. And the second and third mes methods are more invasive. Third one being more invasive than the second. And the second one, you're just going to be pretty much taking it apart and cleaning out the fan only and in the third method you're going to be doing more than that you're going to go a step further and you're also going to clean out the power supply so this kind of caters to everybody if you're too scared to kind of tamper with your ps4 and you might not have the supplies to kind of take it apart or the equipment i mean uh you might choose method one if you have the equipment on deck or you've purchased the equipment which i will be talking about soon uh, and then you want to kind of go in a more invasive method to kind of go a thorough cleanup you might choose method two, but you don't want to mess with the power supply. Method two is the choice for you. Or you could do method three, which is a full cleanup. You go invasive, you clean the fan, you clean the exterior, and you clean the power supply as well. So stay tuned, we're about to do that. And uh, yeah, let's get right into this video. All right, these are the supplies you guys are gonna need in order to clean out your PS4. First thing you're gonna need is a can of compressed air. Now you can get this from anywhere. You can get this from Staples, from Home Depot, or Amazon. I got it from Staples for 12 bucks. You can get it for cheaper on Amazon, but I didn't buy it on Amazon because Amazon is going to take too long to ship it out. So, and I didn't want to wait to make this video. That's why I got it from Staples. Very cheap. Next, what you're going to need is an iPhone repair kit. This iPhone repair kit I got from Amazon. It cost me, I think, about 25 bucks. I'll put a picture up here and I'll put the link in the description below as well. Uh, if you guys don't know, the screws on the outside and on the inside, and some on the inside of the PS4 are similar to the ones on the iPhone, so that's why you're gonna need this iPhone repair kit. The next thing you're gonna need is a Phillips screwdriver. The Phillips screwdriver, you're gonna need it in order to take apart the, uh, not take apart, but take out the power supply. The power supply is being held down by Phillips screws, so that's why you're gonna need this Phillips screwdriver. Next, what you're gonna need is in order to clean it up, you're gonna need some alcohol. I got some 70% isopropyl alcohol. A lot of people suggest using 90%. The higher the percentage, the better. You're just gonna use this to wipe down the interior and the exterior as well, to, you know, to disinfect it and clean it up. Lastly, you're gonna need some con swabs. The reason why you're gonna need some con swabs is in order to get into the little crevices of the fan and clean it properly and thoroughly, and also to get in the crevices of the casing as well. And that's all you guys are gonna need. So let's get right into this cleaning. We're gonna start off by cleaning out the outside of the PS4. Look how dirty did my PS4 is right here on the sides. Oh, that's disgusting. And we're gonna go through this using the compressed air, get all that dust out. Go through it once or twice just to make sure you get all the dirt out and look how much of a difference it makes. Boom. And next we're gonna get the back side and the other side as well. The back side doesn't really collect a lot of dust, but I just like to go through it just to get a thorough cleanup of it. Went through to the back side and now do the other side as well. The other side didn't have as much dirt, but it still had a significant amount. Go through it with the compressed air. Uh, my PS4 didn't have, your PS4 might have a lot of more dirt, <laughs> you never know. But still, use the compressed air to go through the sides first. Next, what you're going to do is take a kind of swab dip in some isopropyl alcohol and go through the sides again just to get any remainder dirt that might be stuck in those little spaces right there. And the second side did not have a lot of dirt, as you guys can see here in a second. But the first side, that was the one that was really clogged up with dirt uh, and dust. Uh, once I went through it with the isopropyl alcohol, Look how much dirt was really left behind. And this goes to show you that just using the compressed air isn't enough. Now you're done with the cleaning out the external side of the PlayStation. Next, what you're going to do is take your T8 screw uh, out of your uh, iPhone repair kit, put it on your screw holder, screw it in, and you're going to use this to take apart the four screws that are located on the back side of the PS4 in order to take off the case. Now, the first two screws are located in the middle right there and they do have stickers on them. Their stickers are very soft. The two first two, one is right there and the other one is below. Those stickers are soft, they're easy to take off. You can peel them off using your fingernails. Uh, really didn't take that much, you really didn't take that much effort. But the ones on the side here have a hard plastic material. So you're gonna need some so a sharp object in order to get leverage. Get underneath there. Don't be too scared, take it off. And uh, yeah, if you're scared of violating your warranty, don't worry about it, you'll still be able to trade in your PS4 on uh, GameStop, even if, just make sure you have the stickers on, they're not gonna like inspect it that hard. So uh, it did take me a little bit of time to get the stickers out right there. Also make sure you put you, you have a container nearby to put all your stickers and your screws in there. There's a lot of screws in this tutorial, so make sure you have a container, you don't wanna lose any of those screws. Now, finally got all those stickers removed. Once I did that, you have all your, uh, um, 
screws exposed what you're going to do is take your t8 again t8 screw and you're going to go through there and remove those screws and that's what we're going to do here and uh, yeah it's pretty much easy make sure you don't do it too hard go you know right tight lefty loose if you don't know how to use a screwdriver but those screws are very tiny so that's why you need a container nearby now while i take a <laughs> take apart all the screws uh if you guys are new to my channel uh just make sure you guys hit the like button and the sub button check out my other videos i do a lot of gaming videos this is my first tutorial on here but if you enjoy what you're seeing if you enjoy the content and make sure you uh, hit that like button and that sub button as well and make sure you share this video now that we got all the screws moved we're going to be flipping the ps4 upside down and we're going to take that case off that case is not that hard to take off it comes off really easily look at that boom bam but look at the dirt that is in there Oh my goodness, that is disgusting. We're going to put that to the side. We're going to clean it later. First thing we're going to do is we're going to clean the cater to the fan. The fan is right there. Mine didn't have a lot of dirt because I had cleaned it previously a few months ago, uh, two, three months ago. So what we're going to do is we're going to hold it down. You want to hold it down because you do not want the fan to f spin freely because that will break the motor and you're going to go through it using the compressed air. And now we're going to go through uh, the casing with compressed air as well power supply is up next so first thing you're going to do is you're going to take off the screws that are on the side right there and the ones that are on the power supply itself the ones that are located on the power supply are phillips screws that's why you need your phillips screwdriver and the ones that are on the side you actually need to use a t9 screwdriver not a t8 that's why you see me swapping that out right here so once you got your t9 equipped make sure you take them off gently those screws are a little bit stubborn to take off you don't want to be too aggressive with them the reason why i say that is if you are too aggressive with your screws you might end up stripping the screws and that will really ruin your day because then it's going to be a hard time either taking them out or putting them back in but yeah uh, it took me a little bit of a while as you guys can see i did struggle a little bit i tried to swap it out for the t10 but the t10 was too big it is a t9 screw but for some reason it just doesn't fit perfectly i don't know i might be wrong but either way t9 screw did end up working I managed to take those screws out that are on the side right there, and now I go to the final. I'm gonna get, end up taking out the final screw that is in the front right there, as you guys can tell, and put them in the containers. Next, take your Phillips screwdriver and uh, go in and take out those two screws that are on the side right there on the power supply itself. Uh, these screws are long, fair warning. So taking them out is gonna be a little bit stubborn as well. As you guys can tell they're very long. Um, they also have a little bit of a metal piece on them that's been holding them down so make sure you're very gentle with the metal piece as well you don't want to bend it or break it and uh, yeah so that they didn't take as long as the other screws but i did they i did struggle with them a little bit and uh yeah so be mindful of those screws as well so i managed to take those out put them in the container now to take off the power supply what you need to do is you're going to take off the side right here and you're going to need to wiggle i did struggle with it a little bit because i didn't manage to take the left side out i mean the right side but the right the left side was kind of stuck so uh, after wiggling it a little bit off camera i managed to take it out and look at all the dust that is collected in there look at that that is disgusting look at this uh i even managed to find a dust bunny in there look at that wait for it look at that oh uh, this what you want to do now is grab your can of compressed air and go through the power supply with it clean all make sure you go through it a few times just to get all the dust out and we'll also get the um the front side of the fan as well holding the fan down while you're using the compressed air so it doesn't spin freely next what you're gonna do is you're gonna go grab some paper which i forgot to do is grab some paper because you're gonna need to go through it again uh, using the uh, isopropyl alcohol in order to get any remainder of the dust so i do manage to do that right here i managed to clean the external uh, side of the uh, power supply and uh, the outside of the fan as well just to kind of wipe it down and disinfect it and get it a thorough cleanup and uh, it managed to be managed to work out so after you do that there's going to be a lot of dust on it make sure you go through it with the compressed air just to dry up the alcohol it helps dry the alcohol so now what you want to do is grab a con swab dip it in some isopropyl alcohol and go ahead and clean the interior of the fan go through the sides a little bit each and every little slot in the fan you're gonna have to go through it this took me a little bit of a while but i did manage to do it and uh, it does work out in the end uh i had to do both you had to use both sides because it was so dirty and i will show you to the camera in a second here you really want to do this because again the uh, compressed air does just only get out the surface level of dust it doesn't really get out the hard dust that is really kind of stuck on the fan itself so again go through it with some compressed air to dry out the uh, isopropyl alcohol and going through the power supply with it again and putting it back in place boom and locks back in after this pretty much you're 
you're you're done and now here i just go through the uh external side of the fan using the compressed air and use some isopropyl alcohol clean it up a little bit more do a little bit more thorough just to get a little bit of any remainder of dust that i've you know i've got left behind and yeah I, I, i'm pretty much done there and what i'm gonna do now is pretty much clean out uh put <laughs> not clean out uh put the uh, screws back on the power supply right here which again it wouldn't take you that long so uh yeah that's that that was it guys that's all you need to do to clean out your ps4 um the rest of this video is just gonna be me uh pretty much uh putting the uh, ps4 back together putting the screws back in where they belong i will be cleaning out the um the uh casing here soon but I do, as I'm uh, right here, I do clean up the casing. Uh, I do go through it with some tissue paper and some uh, isopropyl alcohol, as you guys can tell. Get out all the dusting dusts right there. I said dustings. Get all the dust and dirt that is stuck in the crevices. If I can't get any dust that are stuck in really tight crevices, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through it with the uh, cotton swab. So what I do end up doing that later on and so now I'm, for the rest of the video what i'm going to be doing is giving you guys tips on how to maintain this uh my suggestion is make sure you clean your ps4 at least uh once every two months i want to say just to kind of kind of keep up with it make sure the fan is nice and clean um also make sure you don't keep your ps4 in a very hot area um i used to do that uh i my ps4 used to sit underneath the uh table um right here i'm putting in the screws by the way to the back of the ps4 these are going to be really easy as you guys can tell we're going to switch to the t8 screw so when you're putting those back just a reminder um i had it underneath uh the the table that the tv is standing on the tv stand i said the tv and uh, the back of it was kind of boarded up so there wasn't a lot of airflow in there so my my you know the naturally my ps4 was running like a jet engine so you don't want to do that make sure your ps4 is sitting in a very nice and cool area so that you know it runs normally and again make sure you clean it up once every two months that's the best i could say the last time i really cleaned my ps4 like thoroughly like this without cleaning the power supply was uh, back in november so now we're in june and it's still held up but still i do recommend do it every two months it's just a good way to keep up with it and make sure it's clean up until you get the ps5 i know the ps5 is right around the corner but yeah so yeah again once again if you guys did enjoy this video make sure you guys give it a thumbs up also yeah right here i did take out the externals of the top side of the uh ps4 right here i do end up going into there as well with the can of compressed air uh, i did try to take the screws out there so i can get the other side of the top uh but uh i couldn't do my i didn't manage to get into it so i kind of gave up on it and i just left it um i've seen tutorials on people taking this side of the um the top side of the ps4 out fully and there's not a lot of dirt there usually so yeah i just kind of left it so i cleaned out the side that comes out easily and that's the shiny side where the terabyte is uh, your hard drive is uh, located so i managed to kind of just use compressed air and try to go through the nooks and crannies and clean that out and after that, uh, went through the, with the casing, uh, went through with some isopropyl alcohol, cleaned it up a lot. And uh, after cleaning up that side, I basically, what you need to do is go through it with the uh, compressed air, you know, to dry up the alcohol. And um, yeah, you're done. And then you put that piece back on. So yeah, as I was saying, uh, if you guys are new to this channel, make sure you guys hit that sub button. Make sure you follow me on my socials. I'll put the socials in the description below. Um, but after you do clean up your PS4, by the way, make sure you clean the top side. I use a um, disinfectant right here. Clean all the top side of the PS4 and the, the bottom and the side as well. But yeah, this has been your host with the most, the essential dose. And I'm out. Peace.